What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 8 video. I'm back on the ladder and want to update you guys, I have not played since the last time I actually recorded a video, at least I think so, so I'm still not even in Master Ball tier, I'm like in Great Ball something, but yeah. This team is one that I actually found while I was just browsing through YouTube. I don't usually watch Pokemon content, but I found a guy named Pokey Berm on YouTube, and he had a really cool Lugia team. As you can see right here, it's Weakness Policy, Multi-Scale Lugia with Aeroblast, Earth Power, Calm Mind, Shadow Ball. Um, no Psychic move, which I completely agree with. Psychic is pretty in the format. Uh, we have an Assault Vest, Incineroar, Citrus Berry, Hitmontop, uh, Eject Button, Grim Snarl to help beat opposing like Max Mons and stuff. Uh, we have... G-Max Rillaboom with a Life Orb. I think I would have gone with the, um, I think I would have gone with the Miracle Seed, uh, in, in this case, but I, I think it's fine. Honestly, Life Orb does a ton of damage anyways. Uh, I just don't like taking the recoil damage. Uh, and we have Nihiligo with a Power Herb. Sort of a standardish set, except instead of running Trick Room on this Nihiligo, or, uh, or not Sludge Bomb. Why can't I even speak? Instead of running, like, the standard final move, I forget what people ran. It was, like, Meteor Beam, Sludge Bomb, and... Trick Room, usually. I don't know. I'm used to seeing Trick Room. Now we're running Thunderbolt to help deal with Kyogre. Uh, but yeah, sorry. It's early in the morning. It's really hard for me to just record, but I'm going to do my best to be entertaining. Anyways, yeah, uh, we're going to try it out. The link to his video where he used it will be in the description down below if you guys want to check him out. He's a really good content creator, uh, and I like what he's been putting out. Uh, but today, we're going to be hitting the ladder, trying to hit Master Ball tier after, you know, just slacking, not playing for a couple of days. I've been doing viewer battles on Twitch more than anything. So yeah, we're like at the top of Great Ball tier. Um, I haven't been laddering. I've just been doing viewer battles there. But let's do our best. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content. And answer my comment question of the day. What do you think is the most underrated legendary Pokemon in the format? A lot of people have been telling me Lugia. A lot of people have been saying, yeah, Lugia's underrated, Marcos. You don't know what you're talking about when you say Lugia bad. And I'm like, listen... I don't like Lugia. I feel like it's a little bit too passive, and a weakness policy set feels like too easy to predict. But if it's been working for people, I can't argue with results. We're going to try our best to win with it. Okay, so we're facing an opposing Lugia team. Um, I wonder if that's like Dual Screens Raikou. Dual Screens Raikou is actually really solid. Um, let me think here. I think what I can do, I can pretty safely lead off Lugia. But I might lead off Grim Snarl just to mess with their Lugia lead. Um, we have Bullet Punch on him on top. Yeah, we do. I could I could lead off with that just to mess with their lead, and then go with my weakness policy stuff. I could even just go Rillaboom since we have Grassy Glide. To be honest, I think I'll do that. Lugia in the back, uh, and I think my last Pokemon. I mean. What do I want to go with here? I feel like we can actually do so much work with Nihiligo. Like, we don't really need much else beyond that. Yeah, Incineroar would be really nice, and so would Hitmontop for intimidating stuff, but the only thing I'd really want to intimidate is the Cinderace, and I'm not too scared of it, to be honest, given what I have on my team. I just have to be careful not to sack a Rillaboom to it. That's pretty much it. That's, that's pretty much it, to be honest. All right, let's see what we can do here. That's an interesting outfit. Kind of reminds me of like an orange creamsicle. Alright, so there is his Lugia. Maybe he's like Sucker Punch Weakness Policy. It'd be really funny if I could just activate it for him. <laughs> Alright. If he's Sucker Punch Weakness Policy, I'm going to be so happy. Okay, uh, let's just trick the Lugia. And I suppose we can also go for... A grassy glide into it. No need to fake out or anything, I think. I could fake out the Grim Snarl to be safe in case he wants to fake out my Grim Snarl. Uh, maybe, I'm thinking. I feel like it's dual screens and Sucker Punch or something like that. I'm gonna risk it. I think I'm gonna risk it. It's probably not a good play, but we'll, we'll go for it. Just because I want to shut down a Dynamax. Hey, okay, now as long as I didn't get faked out on my Grim Snarl, we should be fine. If you faked out the Rillaboom, it's whatever, because we can just, you know, hit it. <laughs> I would love if he just self-sucker punched, though. That would make my morning. That would make my morning if he self-sucker punched. Oh my god, I forgot to mention. Guys, we hit 20,000 subscribers on the channel. 
Thank you so much. There's a lot of stuff coming out for that. There's some fun celebration stuff. Come on, self sucker punch. You know you want to. Ah, okay. Anyways, uh, yeah, his Lugia has been neutralized. What is he gonna go for? Is he gonna trick? No, he he shouldn't. At least I don't think he should. <laughs> I don't know what he's going for. All right. Oh, and if you're wondering why that worked, it's because the Grimmsnarl has a lot of speed. I, I should have mentioned that. The Grimmsnarl does have a lot of speed. Um, it's got 204 speed to make sure it can outspeed the Rillaboom. I should have mentioned that. <laughs> Just so people aren't like, bro, what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? That makes no sense. Okay, you know what? Oh my god, I can double weakness policy on my freaking... <laughs> <laughs> my Lugia can double. Ding, uh, I can't speak. It can double weakness policy if I play it right. Um, I think what I want to do here is just Thunder Wave the Cinderace, and that actually should allow me to high horsepower for damage. I don't really need Rillaboom to win anymore. I think I kind of just win. All right, we connect. So now, I feel like I outspeed at minus two. How much speed does this Rillaboom have? None. Okay, none. So. We get some good damage there. Oh, this is such a clean first game so far. And there's the Pyro Ball. They miss. Oh my god, they're going to disconnect. I feel like they have to disconnect at that point. Yo, okay. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> they're about to lose their boy, man. They're about to lose the, uh, the Grimmsnarl already. It's about to get taken out by a Spirit Break. Like, I know that they have a Reflect Up and stuff, but I don't know. I don't know. All right. Um, yeah, I'll just Spirit Break it. And I could just go for Knock Off into Cinderace. It'll, it'll KO from this range. Sucker Punch. Is it into Grimmsnarl? I mean, I might get KO'd. Oh my god, I didn't even do it. Okay, goodbye, Cinderace. So that thing's down. Uh, Cinderace's Focus Sash, interesting item choice. Usually these things want to be Life Orb. Spirit Break, how much does plus two do? That nearly just KO'd. Oh no, man. I am sorry for how this has gone for you so far. There's a Spirit Break to knock me out. Oh no, it's into Rillaboom. Interesting. Interesting. Um, yeah, I'm cool with that, to be honest. I'm pretty cool with that play. <laughs> I feel like uh, trick shenanigans, like trick eject button is going to pick up in usage purely because Dynamax is so much scarier in a restricted format. Or maybe it's not. It kind of is in my opinion, but it, some people could have the opinion that it's not. Uh, and I would respect that opinion. Like it, it could just be like very mid. Because you have, you have better defensive options. Um, I should be able to do this. I can get in my Lugia here. And just go for a Grassy Glide on their Grimmsnarl to knock it out. Because they would want to like fake out into my Grimmsnarl or Grassy Glide or something. And Lugia 100% eats that hit. Yep. As their Life Orb as well, okay. Grassy Glide for the KO. And uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this endgame, to be honest. <laughs> I have not Dynamaxed yet. Maybe maybe Lugia is kind of legit. Maybe. Maybe you guys got me here. Maybe you're right. I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong. Okay. So, their Lugia doesn't have the thing it needs to win. So I can max airstream this Rillaboom pretty safely. And I can knock off the Lugia for damage. Not that I really need to, to be honest. Matter of fact, I can just go into Nihiligo. <laughs> I can just go into Nihiligo and be fine. Alright. By the way, I want to let you guys know, the next team I'll be making in-game is going to be that Zygarde team. Because that Zygarde team... It was kind of legit. I think Zygarde's really legit in this format, and I want to try it out. Um, that should be done by Monday, I think. Oh, wait, no, today's Sunday. It will not be done by Monday, but I can do my best to get as much of it done as I can.
Aeroblast, that should KO this thing. Yeah. Or I not Aeroblast, but Max Airstream coming out of Aeroblast, that's gonna KO. I find it really funny if you could go for a Shadow Ball onto my Lugia. Nope, just a Calm Mind. That's fine. He's uh probably within range of <laughs> He's probably within range of um Max Phantasm and Power Herb. Meteor Beam, like that'll probably wrap it up. And I believe my Nihilo goes faster, so I wonder how much this power... Oh wait, no, he doesn't have multi-scale. I was going to say, I wonder how much Meteor Beam does to it at plus one when it has multi-scale. Because it should live, but... No, nah, they already had it broken, there was no way. Awesome, so we, we do pick up uh, the first win today. And man, like that... <laughs> just shutting down the Lugia was so fun. And that's what I mean, when when I initially said I don't like Lugia because it feels like a one-trick pony, like you're either activating weakness policy or flinging something onto it, it's it's one or the other, it's very hard to play Lugia any other way. I suppose you could say that about Colossal as well, but I don't know, maybe Lugia is pretty good, maybe. It's pretty hard to not call Colossal a one-trick pony, but I was wrong about that too. I thought Colossal would be bad, but it ended up being like one of the best Pokemon ever. As we do hit Ultra Ball tier, I think if I just win one more, I'm in Master Ball, so it's pretty good. Alright, who are we facing? Crow, alright. And they are, <laughs> speak of the devil, we're, we're facing a Colossal and Xerneas team. This is, again, like not a good matchup for Grimmsnarl plus Rillaboom shenanigans. Um, I think in the back, does this thing have Wide Guard? It does. That could be useful. Uh, I think I'd rather just bring the Lugia, though. I think we can just go with what we've been, what we've been going with. Um, this team would feel a lot better, in my opinion, if we had a water type. It definitely feels like it needs a water type, but... I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll be fine. It, it just seems like Psy Spam plus Sneasel Colossal plus just tacking on a Xerneas in the back. It's just like three super hyper offensive options, and I have to call the correct one on lead. And DD Alakazam, okay. I have no speed investment, but they're probably zero speed on their Ndidi, so they're going to get their thing up first. Uh, luckily, yeah, luckily uh, Grimmsnarl's immune here, so I can just go for... I can just go for the move and... Or uh, the Spirit Break into the Alakazam pretty safely. And I could just get in the Lugia, too. I don't think Lugia really minds coming in here. Alright, um, we'll go ahead and go for the Spirit Break into you, and we'll get in the Lugia. And if, by some miracle, <laughs> I take no damage on my Grim Snarl at all this turn, I, I suppose they shouldn't be going for just double Expanding Force, because it wouldn't do much. Maybe they did Expanding Force, uh, maybe they did. Dazzling Gleam, okay, that's fine. So I'm going to get a Jack Buttoned out. But at the very least, I get in the Rillaboom for Fake Out. And Fake Out's going to be really nice here. Ooh, you know what I could do? I could Calm Mind here. This feels like a really good spot to Calm Mind. Kind of wish my Multiscale wasn't broken, but I don't think it's the end of the world. I'll Fake Out the Alakazam. And call mind up. Indeed, he isn't too much of a threat here. Most Alakazam are Magic Guard. At least I think so. <laughs> they withdraw the Indeedee, who's coming in. Colossal, okay. Well, Colossal's not gonna like what he's about to have to take. <laughs> He's not going to enjoy the move he's going to have to take right here. Jeez, that does so much. Alakazam, why are you so frail? I actually have a couple of options. Ooh, okay. Never mind. I have no good options. Um... No, no, I'm still fine. I'm still fine, I think. Uh, it's not like Colossal can knock out my... Lugia in one hit if I Dynamax. 
I definitely want to keep Rillaboom around. It seems very useful. I'll get in the Grim Snarl here. Eh, maybe. Yeah, I'll keep Nihiligo around. Uh, and what I'm going to do is just Dynamax and go for Max Quake. I think at plus one special defense, I can take Colossal Hit, especially if I Dynamax. Kind of wish I had multi skill uh, uh, still active, though. Is it Ndidi? Okay, let's see if they follow Mead. If they Dynamaxed, I don't think they follow Mead. Okay, cool, that's fine. Uh, they likely are just going to go for the max Vocalith into the Lugia slot, but that's going to give me my weakness policy, and while, you know, I am pretty scared of what's on the other side of the field, when I'm Dynamaxed at plus one special defense as a Lugia, I should be able to eat this hit. It might be a trade, though, in the end. Like, I might end up having to sack Lugia or stop my Dynamax early, one or the other. Uh, but if I could escape this without losing any pieces, that'd be ideal. Alright, let's see if Lugia can uh, carry his weight here. There it is. Come on, don't get crit. This is a Colossal. It doesn't do too much anyways. Oh my... <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, Dynamax. Quotation marks right there, Dynamax. Uh, goodbye, Colossal. I'm sorry. Uh, you were not long for this world. You came in last turn, and you exit this turn. Goodbye. <laughs> Dang, that did so little damage. That did so little damage. And you know what else? I can just get in my, my Rillaboom here. I can just get in the Rillaboom. <laughs> and have fake out pressure on the next turn. And prevent follow me on Ndidi. Like everything just goes fine for the next couple of uh, for the next couple of turns. I mean, what comes in? Alakazam? I mean, you're going to get Spirit Broken. <laughs> He's going to get his Spirit Broken. Spirit Break the Alakazam. Uh, and also, Max Airstream Alakazam, I suppose. I don't really mind increasing my speed. Like, yeah, we're under Trick Room, but I don't really care. There's the Protect on the Ndidi. Uh, let's see if they Protect the Alakazam. Nope. Goodbye. Yeah, I was going to say, if a Fake Out did that much to him from a Life Orb Rillaboom, Stab Spirit Break is probably just going to knock him out. Sick. Alright, there's the Xerneas. Um, I mean... <laughs> do they really have an out here? They can increase their speed, but... I'm still Lugia, dude. I'm still Lugia. I could try to trick them and get rid of their power herb, and that'd be pretty lit. But follow me would go first. I think my play is to Spirit Break. And Max Airstream. No, I should win anyways, because I have freaking Rillaboom and Nihiligo in the back. Yeah, so I just Spirit Break into the Xerneas as well as Max Airstream. And regardless of what happens, I think I'm fine, since they should follow me in Geomancy. Like, they're going to outspeed me once the Trick Room ends, but I should be fine. There's Geomancy. I'm at plus three special attack, though, so this is still doing more... <laughs> This is still doing more than they hope. Oh, on top of that, Aeroblast has a chance to crit, so if I do outspeed it next turn, it's it's not going to like the crit. Alright, Aeroblast should do the trick here. Or Max Airstream. I keep calling it Aeroblast because it's freaking Lugia. I'm so used to that move.
and I'm at plus two special defense. I might be able to take a dazzling gleam because if they if they go for um a moon blast, they're gonna get spirit broken. So they should dazzling gleam here. Okay. Oh wait, is there still one more turn of trick room? <laughs> there is. That's hilarious. Um, if they're max speed Xerneas, I'm gonna outspeed them. Under trick room, I mean. So I can just go for my Aeroblast. That's minus one, and it does so much because of that Fairy Aura. Special attack drop. They do go for the Dazzling Gleam. Lugia eats that like a champ, dude. Alright, can I crit this Aeroblast? That'd be great. No crit. Okay, that's fine. Um, I still just win. <laughs> yeah, I'll set up Grassy Terrain here. They should protect, but I don't care. Because <laughs> Fake Out into Grassy Glide will KO. Alright, Fake Out. And we're just going to Aeroblast again. I would assume they protect here. Yep, that's fine. It doesn't really save them, though. Life Orb Grassy Glide just does way too much to this thing. They get a little bit of uh, health recovery because of the grassy terrain. I don't mind that, though. So does Rillaboom. So does Lugia. Oh, no. Okay. Well, the rocks aren't gone, so... <laughs> grassy Glide. Yeah, we're good. Aeroblast. They aren't living this turn. What if they did, though? I would cry. Nice. Critical hit. That did not matter. Life Orb Grassy Glide does way too much. Awesome. So that is two wins in a row right now. Um, are we in Master Ball tier? I don't know. I feel like every season I procrastinate getting to Master Ball tier. It's not like that I have trouble getting there. It's like I play five matches and then stop. <laughs> I need to win like two or three more and then I, I just don't feel like playing. Yeah, one more. One more should do it. So let's see who our final opponent will be for this video. Hopefully it's uh hopefully it's a really fun match for Lugia. So far Lugia's been pulling its weight. I will admit at this point, probably wrong about Lugia. Probably wrong. Alright, Paglia. And okay, so this is gonna be the match where Lugia does nothing. Uh, we're facing an Evaltal team along with Metagross. Could be really difficult. Looks like Nihiligo is actually a pretty solid lead option. Hmm. I think Nihiligo on lead isn't bad. I definitely want to bring Incinero to this matchup like 100% of the time. Hmm. I think what I'll do is I'll go Nihiligo, Grim Snarl, Incineroar, Lugia, and that should be fine. I kind of want to bring Hitmontop, I just don't feel comfortable bringing Hitmontop to this matchup, because it just doesn't feel like it's going to carry its weight. Like, Hitmontop's a good Pokemon, it's good for support, it's good for, like, Fake Out and stuff, but overall, in this matchup, I feel like I get a little bit more value out of Grim Snarl. Evelto Grimmsnarl, okay. So luckily for me, luckily for me, um, I did lead off pretty well versus this. Let me think. So I, I probably want to go for the Meteor Beam into the Evelto. Maybe I can just Sludge Bomb into Grimmsnarl. I don't think Evelto wants to attack here. It'll probably switch out, considering what's on the field. 
And with that in consideration, I should switch out into Incineroar. Just to make sure I don't activate my thing too early. Alright, nice. There's the Metagross. I figured that'd be coming in. I wouldn't want to waste a Power of Meteor Beam on that thing. Would have been a huge waste. Uh, my biggest concern here is getting hit by a Thunder Wave, to be honest. I don't really mind screens. Alright, there's a light screen. So this thing should be able to eat this hit. Alright. Does about half. Uh, he should be going for... Either a max Steel Spike into Nihiligo or a max Quake. Incineroar might be able to take a... Whatever it goes for. So I could try to Flare Blitz into the Grimmsnarl. I don't want to activate a Weakness Policy on the Metagross above all else, to be honest, right now. I think my play is to maybe just take out the Grimmsnarl, to be honest. I don't know. I feel like the, the Nihiligo is too important to the game plan. I'll go Lugia here. I'll go Lugia here, and I'll actually go ahead and Flare Blitz into Grimmsnarl and hopefully pick up a KO. If he quakes into Nihiligo, that'd be the best outcome for me. As they do decide to Dynamax, that's nice. I'm hoping you just decide to pick up a piece from my side of the board here and try to quake into that thing. If he quakes into Incineroar, I'm in a little bit worse of a spot. And I think that if he goes for a Steel Spike into Lugia, like I'm not going to lose my Lugia or anything too bad, but I will miss out on a KO on that Grim Snarl. There's the Steel Spike. Does a solid chunk of damage too. Probably going to miss out on this KO. Spirit Break. Yeah, Lugia is going to switch out. <laughs> Lugia is going to want to switch out now. Uh, let's see if I can KO here. Not quite. Not quite. Um. So I think they're going to double into the Lugia here. I could Dynamax and try to do something here. Dang, I really want to go for an Eject Button play on that Metagross. But it's just not worth it. Uh... And I can't lose Nihiligo yet. How do I do this? How do I reset? Dang, this sucks. I might have to Dynamax. Uh, I hate this. I hate this. You turn on the Grim Snarl. If this worked out, I'll be real happy. If this worked out, I'll be real, real happy. So here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I didn't say it out loud, but um, I'm max guarding on Lugia, hoping that they just double into it. Uh, and I'm also gonna U-turn on the Grim Snarl to knock it out. And on the next turn, what I can do is go for a uh, trick with my Grim Snarl that's gonna come in onto the Metagross and just force it out. Since I should outspeed it. Ah, oh, man, I really hope that. <laughs> I really hope it didn't. Um... Nah, nah, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Okay. I was thinking about something that just wouldn't have mattered, anyways. I should be able to always go for this play. There's the Evetal. Hopefully he's a special attacker. <laughs> Hopefully this guy's a special attacker, because then I'll be able to eat this hit. Otherwise, it might be a little bit more difficult. Go for the trick on the Metagross. They should never switch out here. They should be trying to get a weakness policy or something out of me. If they protect this Metagross, they are psychic. They are actually psychic.
Because what this will give me is a nice little special defense boost. And I might outspeed the Eveltal. I have no idea. For all I know, it's a super slow Eveltal. There's the trick. We get it off. Maybe I should have airstreamed. <laughs> okay, no, I'm faster, so that's fine. We don't do much damage, but we get a special defense boost, and if it is special attacking Eveltal, we'll, we will end up in a net gain here. Switch him out. And I feel a lot more comfortable with my position now. Cinera comes in, that's fine. If they have Snarl, I'm going to be a little bit upset. <laughs> There's the Dark Pulse. Okay. We tank that. We end up in a net gain. Critical hit kind of sucks, though. Because I don't want to get faked out. Oh, I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy with that. Um, dang, that really sucked. How do I play out of this? I mean, Incinera is going to be my best friend for facing down the, the Metagross in the back. I think my main priority right now is KOing the Seaveltal. Which I think max airstream into Spirit Break should do it, but I have to be really, really careful. I, I'm just going to hope this does it, man. I'm just going to hope it does it. They could switch in the Metagross. There's the fake out. That's fine. Um, let's see if they have Sucker Punch. They don't. Okay, so I'm going to gain some speed here and do a solid chunk of damage. That is Assault Vest. <laughs> that is Assault Vest. I've never been so disappointed in my life. There's the Dark Pulse to knock me out. Ah, that crit really sucked earlier. I would have taken so much less. Alright. So on the bright side... I can get an Incineroar here. <laughs> and assuming that they're going to go out into Metagross... I should be able to go for a Flare Blitz into this. I'm, I'm just going to Flare Blitz Spirit Break into the Inveltal. I'm only really concerned about Inveltal now. Or, I guess Metagross, right? Because, right? like, Metagross is the only thing in the way of my Nihiligo win con. So I'm just going to double. I'm so concerned. I really hope the Metagross just comes in, to be honest. This will make this easier. I don't think Yveltal can really do much to Assault Vest and Cinero anyway, so... Alright, cool. We're gonna get some good damage on this thing, and my win con with my Nihiligo looks a lot better after this turn. Unless they're faster than my Incinero and Parting Shot it, in which case I am sad. Ah, that, that kind of sucks. <laughs> they were faster, dang it. Um, I mean, this should still do a lot. And I can just keep hammering away at this thing. I don't know, maybe I'll crit my Flare Blitz. Maybe we'll get a Revenge crit. I could also paralyze the Metagross, which would be really helpful. Because I, I can't switch into Hiligo on anything, really. Oh, that did enough. I think that did enough. Okay, that did enough where I feel comfortable with this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to paralyze the Metagross. And Flare Blitz it. Because I have no idea how fast this Metagross is. Uh, I have no speed investment on my Incineroar, so I would have to outspeed it. They could bring in their own Incineroar. I wouldn't really mind, I think. As they protect, that's fine. I think it might be in range of Meteor Beam. That's kind of what I'm hoping for here. I need just a little bit more damage to get it in Meteor Beam range. There's Oblivion Wing. That's scary. Assault Vest, though. So, you know. <laughs> Not much health coming back to it. Um, yeah, I definitely don't want that thing to be in range. Uh, I don't want my Incinerator to get knocked out by freaking... Oh, an error occurred. 
OBS closed. Okay, so OBS just randomly closed. I hope that the error didn't make my recording unusable because that'd be really annoying. I'm going to go for the same play and hope that works out. Man, I really hope my recording didn't just get destroyed in that process. Let me check my files. Okay, cool. We landed. I think I just win now. Tell me that my video is still there. Oh, no. Okay, I think we're fine. 35... Yeah, I think we're fine. Audacity's still recording. Yeah, I think... I think we're probably fine. I hope. I really hope we're fine. Alright, we get the KO there. You know, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check, just to see if it's even worth to continue commentating. Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. The, the recording is still safe. <laughs> oh, I would have been so mad. I would have been so mad, because I've been recording. And this is a good video. This is a good showcase. Let me go for the Snarl. Let me go for the Spirit Break into you. This this was such a good video. I, I would have been so annoyed. Snarl's going to be really nice here. Oblivion Wing, who's it into? Into you, I survive, I get a Snarl off. Awesome. Alright. I suppose I just Snarl again, to be honest. And... Let me see something. What if I just tricked a weakness policy onto the Incineroar as like a flex? That wouldn't be worth it, but it'd be really funny. <laughs> it'd be really funny if I just tricked it a weakness policy to flex. Not that not that I could actually, because Incineroar is dark type, but that would have been funny still. <laughs> Alright. Oblivion Wing looks so cool. I want to build an Eveltal team sometime soon. Just because I want I love Eveltal, it's one of my favorite Pokemon. Get a nice little special, def or special attack drop. And in comes the boy. In a second here. Cinderella finally goes down. Nihiligo just comes in and wins. And uh, because I already got like the special defense drops and stuff. Or the special attack drops. Um, I, I don't want to go for the Meteor Beam into the into the Eveltal, because I feel like they reveal that they're full special. So there's not really a need to focus it down. I'll just Meteor Beam the Incineroar, uh, and that, that should be fine. Spirit Break Eveltal again. Incineroar doesn't typically carry Protect, and I'm assuming there's an Assault Vest on the Eveltal. Go for the Meteor Beam. And we connect. I always hate when I miss Meteor Beam. Like, Meteor Beam, missing that move is the worst feeling in the world. It's it's honestly the worst. There's no reason a two-turn move like that should miss. There's the foul play. That actually might do something. No, it's not. No, it's, it's, it's not doing anything. Anyway, Spirit Break. And they're probably in range of Sludge Bomb plus Spirit Breaks. There's no need to go for... um. Meteor Beam again and just charge it up. Alright, I have Thunderbolt. My bad. <laughs> we'll just Thunderbolt here and that should seal the deal. KO the Eveltal. Nice. So that was a that was a really cool game. Uh, I like this team a lot. Rental code for this team in the description, as well as the original video where Pokeburm used it. So yeah, uh, check him out. He has a really cool channel. And let's see if I made it into Master Ball tier, because... You know, I'm always really lazy and I usually just do it on my own time. <laughs> Let's see. Ranked battles. Update rank. Come on. Tell me um tell me I'm high ranked. 
Okay, there we go. Anyways, Master Ball tier. Uh, it only took me a week to do it because I <laughs> I battled online a total of twice. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Sorry the video like got cut into two pieces. Hopefully I can stitch that together and hopefully the video isn't like unsalvageable. But with that, I'm going to call it. If you guys enjoyed the video at any point in time, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content, answer the comment question of the day, and join the Discord. Do whatever. We're at 20,000 subscribers. It's been a fun ride. Let's do it. <laughs> See you guys.